And welcome back to VIP Machine. You're watching the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, and Kaboom. Oh yeah, Super Kaboom. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here we go, here we go. You think this is four separate decks? No, it's not. This is just one deck, but it has top loaders. Due to all the expensive cards, and you know it's over. I have offended you again. So I guess this is the end Because everybody knows you're such a snowflake And you're just quite upset at every single thing you said Everybody knows it's so just in your head Wasted feelings, the rest again You know why it cost mine When I said that you were mine Back guys to another episode of VD Machine We have a Sly Guy, Sly Guy, and a Sly Guy And now This is a deck This is a 60 card deck Mind you So um If you compare this to regular 60 card decks They will dwarf in comparison to it As this is An Academy deck Yes For Solarian Academy The reason why it's so thick with such uh, thick top loaders is this deck is very expensive I mean compared to the other decks I mean those decks are super cheap and you can get them anyway these cards are super hard to find and when you do find them you're gonna pay a lot for these babies this is the Academy deck so how exactly does the Vintage Academy deck work? So let's draw a hand of seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Normally a game starts like this. Okay, so there are your cards right there. Ooh, time walk, nice. With one land, even with one land, can do fairly well. Candelabra of Taunus, done. Draw a card, play a volcanic island, tap. Time walk, take an extra turn, untap, draw a card. Okay, you're done. Opponent's turn, draw. He play something, play Force of Will, counter it. Play this, tap. Wheel of Fortune. Discard three, draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Okay, play your Moxin. Jewelry in the deck is super beautiful. Then uh, you discard your Underground Sea. Expensive dual land. Play Mox Diamond. Then you are done, you untap, draw a card, you play Tolarian Academy, you tap one and two for Sol Ring and another Candelabra. So now tap the Academy, add one, two, three, four, five mana. Then you tap one of your Moxin, untap, tap. So that's uh, 10 mana. Play Mind Over Meta and you're done. Another Candelabra, Black Lotus, Mana Vault, another Mox Diamond, Mox Jet. So a counter with Force of Will. So you see the deck plays very uh, defensively and the deck is full of dual land. So you do not want to damage these babies. I mean, even the Tolarian Academy, you've got Time Spiral. The deck has a lot, and I do mean a lot, of nifty tricks. So how does it end the game? Normally the game ends when you generate a lot of super mana and, uh, yeah, it's Time Twister. Then you play a huge Brain Geyser. 
to wipe your opponent out. Got the Demonic Tutor. Yep, there it is. Play a large Brain Geyser. Brain Geyser your opponents away. And that would be game. So once again, this is the ID Machine with the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. We're signing off right now, right now. It's your kick to me, Academy, Academy, Academy. This is the Academy deck. With all the dual lands and all of the Muxin, including this baby Black Lotus is here. Baby Black Lotus is here, oh yeah.